Hey guys, welcome to Opa Studies YouTube channel. This is part 58 in Azure Synapse Analytics playlist. In this video, we are going to discuss about Delta tables in Synapse Spark. So in our previous videos, we have already discussed about what is Spark database or Lake database. We have already discussed about what is a uh, formats available for the Spark tables, right? This is continuation to that videos. So please watch. 55, 56 and 57 these videos so that you can get most out of this video. Okay. So firstly, what is Delta table? So as we discussed on in our previous videos, it is also a spark table. But when you specify a format as Delta, then that table called as a Delta table basically. And this Delta is like one of the format actually. So we have seen there are a couple of formats like we have seen like parquet format is there. CSV format is there. JSON format is there. Right. Similarly, we have one more format called Delta. The beautiful, uh, the beauty of this Delta format is that if you created a data with a Delta format in Lake storages or Gen2 storages, then uh, you know that from my previous videos that uh, for the Parquet, CSV or JSON formats, we cannot update that data. Right. Uh, we can insert the rows. We tried it. But when we try to update the rows, it was giving the error, right? Because it is not supported. But when it comes to Delta format, it will allow you to do the updatability as well. That means you can insert the data, update the data and delete the data. So all that operations are possible, even though it's not a SQL table. So generally you can do updates and deletes only in SQL database tables, right? But if you have the data in Delta format on the lake storages, then you can do updates and deletes as well. We will be practically seeing that, so don't worry. And behind the scenes, this Delta format actually contains parquet files only. Along with the parquet files, it will also contain the, there is something called transaction logs. So the data will uh, be having transaction logs. These are like JSON uh, files, which will maintain the history of the data, like what updated, what deleted, what inserted, everything. Okay. So in this video, we will more mainly focus on creating the Delta table and doing the insert, update and deletes only. In our upcoming video, we will try to deep dive about the Delta format, what it is, what kind of folders it create, everything we will try to deep dive there. So let's navigate to our Azure Synapse Analytics workspace. And here, if you see right now in my Spark database, I have two tables, persons CSV, persons JSON CSV, sorry, JSON table, okay two tables I have. So let's try to create another table like how we did in our previous videos. And this time this table is going to use the Delta format. Okay. So the syntax to create a table is create table. Let's use our database name my spark DB. You can see this is the then let's name it like persons Delta. Okay. So this is the table name and let's try to create two columns ID column then name column as a string. Okay. So I'm creating a simple table called persons Delta in this database with two columns. Okay. So this is fine. So now let's try to using here. I have to mention the format so I can mention the location as well. So if I don't mention the location, it will go to the default folder where it, uh, where this database exists, right? You know that from our previous videos. So if I go to my storage under synapse folder, uh, this storage is connected with my Synapse workspace. So navigate to these workspaces and this is the workspace name. So open that folder and here you see warehouse folder under the warehouse folder. You can see a folder for your database and then here one file one folder will get created whenever you create one table. This you know already from my previous videos. Okay, so let's go to our notebook. Let me hit shift enter to execute this code. This code is going to create the Delta table right now because we have mentioned the Delta as a format and here I written my code in SQL because I can you can see here the language I selected as a spark SQL for this particular demo for this particular notebook. Okay, so now my table got created if I go to container and if I try to refresh this uh, entire uh, my SQL spark DB folder, you see persons Delta folder as well there. So now if I navigate inside this folder, you can see there is one more folder called Delta log. As I said, uh, this folder only will help you to to create that uh, uh, to create that uh, transaction logs. OK, so this uh, Delta log folder will help you that. OK, so if I go inside it right now, there is only one JSON. More JSONs will get created when we insert the data, update the data and delete the data. 
let's go to delta uh, our notebook this is the notebook name and here let's try to write a code insert into my spark db dot persons delta values i am trying to insert some data id1 name may be mahir so what i am trying to do if you see here my insert query is insert into my database and this is the values okay so now let me hit shift enter to execute this particular code and see whether the data gets inserted or not you can see it inserted a data command executed successfully now what i am going to do i am going to write select star from my spark db then persons delta table okay so let me show you this query so select query on top of my table okay so let me hit shift enter to execute this command so once the execution completed we should see a table with columns and also data right so let me try to insert one more row here two wafa so employee uh, person id two with name as wafa that's what i am trying to insert this time okay and now let me hit shift enter to execute this code this code should execute and insert one more row as well so now inserted successfully you can see status here let me hit this select star from so let me execute this cell to see that information there now you can see our table return the data as well so if i zoom this here you can see the two rows whatever we inserted are available here okay so let's go back here and this time uh, let's try to update the data in the table okay so let me use a different query this time so let's try to use update my spark my spark db dot persons delta table and then set name equals to i am going to set the name as maybe mn wo mn wo where id equals to 1 so we have id 1 with name as mahir right but we are going to update to mn wo this time okay so i am going to update the name where id is 1 so now let's try to execute this update statement and see so let me hit shift enter to execute this cell the command is running so let's wait for the update happen if you remember in our previous sessions when we try to update the data update was not happened okay because those are parquet and csv formats but this time you can see update is also happened and if i execute this uh, select query on top of my table this time i should see employee one name as mnvo you can see here clearly it's mnvo okay so that means even i am able to update the data now let's try to delete the data as well so uh, what i am going to do delete this uh, delete from this table from my spark db dot persons delta table where id equals to 1 so this is what i am going to do so when i execute this query it should delete employee id or sorry person id 1 so let me hit shift enter to execute this and uh, once this command executed successfully i will execute the select query to show you the results so this executed successfully the delete command let's go here let's execute the select query and this time i should see only one one person information see only id 2 id 1 is not there so why because it got deleted automatically since we perform delete operation so that means like how we work on a sql tables the same way we are able to perform inserts updates and deletes and everything in the delta format and if you go to uh, your uh, delta format table now so if you go back this table one step back you can see so many files it created and if you closely observe every file is a parquet yeah. format only so delta format basically behind the scenes contains parquet format only and if you navigate into this transaction logs you can see here everything in a json format so this json files will contain all the metadata information like what inserts happen what updates happen and everything and uh, whenever you do updates and inserts your old data will not get deleted permanently it will be create, it will be there somewhere and every transaction history you will be it will be maintaining under this folder and you can check the data before you update before you delete how it was the data even you can check that you can do the try and travel okay so delta trans uh, format help you to get this acid capabilities 
uh, which are there in a SQL that helps you to update, delete and insert information. Okay. The additional privilege or advantage here is you can time travel. You can see the data before delete, before update, how it is. Everything you can see. We will discuss more about all this uh, practically as well in our next video. Maybe there I will explain about the delta format in detail. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let's go to presentation. So this is the syntax of creating a table using the delta. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notification whenever I add videos. Thank you so much.